Hey everyone, how you guys doing? It's Grugs here, the Legion Tactical Cavalry. Welcome back, troops, legionnaires, and new recruits. As always, appreciate you guys. Thanks for checking out my channel. Another famous Legion Live impromptu uh, video. <laughs> um, I received this awesome Ned Foss uh, hyenas and I love it. So some of you may or may not know, um, I was testing out a knife a couple days ago and I did cut myself. So unfortunately, um, I can't, I can't go out and do any testing. Actually, I was going to test this out yesterday, but with the, you know, my finger wrapped up and then stitches, I have to be careful. I'm on antibiotics and I really can't, um, can't be out there getting the, getting my finger dirty. So I figure, let me do a couple of shorts. Uh, I'm going to do a Legion Live with this uh, Ned Foss. And uh, hopefully, soon enough, I'll be back out there testing this knife. Um, now, for those who are on, can you guys hear me okay? Let me know in the chat if you can hear me or not. Because I have a microphone on. I wanted to try something a little bit different. So can anybody hear me? Anybody hear me yet? Anything? Anybody hear me? Anybody hear me? Okay. I think I can hear myself. I just checked the TV, so we're all good. All right. Well, check it out, troops. Look at that. It's a nice knife, man. Now, I did uh, get asked by the Ned Foss people to take a look at this knife and test it out. And uh, I, I said, yes, I jumped at the chance at this. You know, uh, there are a couple of other uh, content creators out there who received this knife and they said it was awesome. So I was glad, uh, you know, at the opportunity for Ned Foss to um, have me check it out and test it out. So um, what I'll do now is, you know, give you a basic overview of the knife and then hopefully you know once i get the okay and get back out there and do some uh, bushcraft testing you know or some some of my testing out at the legion outpost but uh yeah i mean this is this is a, a really 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 nice knife man let me let me uh zoom in again um it's a stout knife and I, you know I, I like it so before we get started, you guys and gals, what is in your pocket today? I've got my Gerber Sumo. This is a great knife. I know it has a little bit of an inexpensive steel, but let me tell you something. I've been doing a lot of work with this knife without any issues or problems. Let me know what you guys got in the comments section, okay? We really appreciate it. All right, now let me log into my computer and we will uh get some specs for you all right now i am on the ned foss website itself right so we are looking at a total length of 8.26 inch with a blade length of 3.5 inch and a blade thickness of 5.0 millim millimeter blade material is a 440c stainless steel handle material is a g10 handles uh, blade grind is a flat. Um, hardness is 59 HRC. Now, again, I got this all off of the Ned Foss website. All right. It does come with a high quality Kydex sheath, as you can see right there. Uh, it's really nice. And it comes with a ferro rod and a tech lock system. It's, it's really a nice little setup, in my opinion. I, I can't wait to test it out. Now, um, 
let's do a quick close-up. Okay, so check it out. There it is. There's your Ned Foss logo and that beautiful stout uh, drop point blade. Uh, it came pretty sharp. Okay, I did I did uh, put it on the uh, Arkansas stone and I did a little stropping, and it is amazingly sharp now. So at least you know in the field it will be sharp as hell. Um, I always take something out in the field to make sure that I sharpen it properly. And uh, it works out great, you know, to have something out in the field. So it's completely flat grind. Okay. I love this little area over here. That round, that round curve. I think it just makes the knife look really cool. It's got some nice jimping and you could see how thick that knife is, man. That's a really nice thick knife. It is a, a sharp spine. Okay, you can see it's removing some of the nail material on here. So that's, that's you know, I'm excited to try out the, um, the ferro rod that comes with this knife. Uh, it's got a small chuck sharpening tool and a little guard, which is good. So when you choke up on it, you know, you won't, uh, you won't uh, go past the guard here. Beautiful G10 scales. Look at the way they look. Um, a couple of, you know, one of the content creators that, you know, I, I visit and um, one of their subscribers had mentioned to me that um, he didn't get, uh, he got a similar model and it wasn't as, as nice as this one. I'm not sure why that is, but uh, if I was that gentleman, I would definitely, you know, contact Ned Foss and ask him, you know, for a replacement, you know, because if you're going to represent that company, you want to make sure that you're getting a, you know, a good knife. Plus, you want to make sure that if something is, you know, is wrong with that knife, that they are willing to replace it. And then if you get it from Amazon, it's easy enough to, to get these knives replaced, you know, with Amazon. Uh, but if you buy it directly from Ned Foss, I don't know if you can do that or not. Uh, but if you do, you know, you want to make sure that their warranty is up to snuff. But, okay, I digress about that. A little bit of jimping in the rear over here, Okay. But look at how the G10 handles are done. They're done so well. Everything is nice and flush, very even, even in the curves, in the, in, the, in the scales. It's done really nice. Removable scales. Oh, the screws were nice and tight. I've been making sure that they were nice and tight. Full tank configuration. Beautifully done again. Very flush. The handles are a little on the blocky side. So it's kind of like a very, a very, very... Uh, 90 degree ish type edge over here. Uh, my suggestion to Ned Foss, if they would listen, is to just maybe make these a little bit more rounded off. But I don't see any harm in taking a little piece of sandpaper and maybe just rubbing this down, you know, getting a little bit smoother. Um, if I tighten up though on the handle, you know, I'm not really getting any kind of hot spots, but I haven't used it yet out in the field. Okay, but it's a, you know, I would like to see this in a, in a green and black configuration. That would be cool, but the blue is, is nice. It does pop. It does snap and, you know, God forbid if you were to drop the knife and, uh, you know, leaves or something like that, you could probably see it better than, than in a green configuration, but still that would be nice to have a green and black, like a forest green and black, but still not, you know, still a beautiful knife, little type of a bird's beakish. Um, end of the handle, which is nice, so you can get a good grip over here. I'm going, you know, once I get back out there, I'm going to do some slight chopping. All right, it does have an option for the, uh, you know, a lanyard. You could put a lanyard hole here. It's fantastic. Um, I did, uh, you know, I did do some stropping and some sharpening, very light, and. Let me see if I can get you just a quick example. I hate paper tests, but you know it does it does serve a purpose. So let's see what I could do here without cutting myself again. Look at that. So I like 440C steel. You know, I have no problem with 440C steel. It's stainless. You know, for some environments it might be good, no rusting. Hey, Jeremy, how you doing, man? Thank you for, uh, for the comment. Appreciate it. 
So I, I definitely like the knife, man. I, and I can't, I can't wait. It's, it's nice and small. It can even possibly be a pocket carry, you know, maybe you get yourself a, you know, like a little slip joint piece of leather that you could poke this in there and then put it in your pocket. Um, if you were to maybe unscrew the screws here, take this lanyard piece off. I'm sorry, not the lanyard, the uh, ferro rod holder with the ferro rod and take off the tech lock. This could easily fit in your pocket. You know, if you didn't want to carry a fixed blade with you, I'm sorry, a folding folding knife with you, you would rather carry this. But you know what? Let's let's go over the sheath real quick because I haven't done that yet. Beautiful Kydex sheath. It's heavy duty. Okay, it's it's decently thick. As you can see, it's not it's not too flimsy. All right, um, taco sheath style configuration. All right. It's got uh, some holes here to to mount a few things, or maybe if you wanted to, you don't like the uh, ferro rod here, you could, you know, lash paracord on here. And this is an interesting tech lock system. I don't know if this is the American tech lock or if it's a Chinese tech lock. I'm going to assume it's Chinese made. Um, but basically, what you do is you unhook this piece right here, and then you push these two in, and that opens up. A little bit different than what I'm used to seeing with my other knives uh, as far as a tech lock goes. Um, but this is not so bad. This is pretty cool. Also, as you can see here, these are belt adjusters. These actually pop off. Okay. These actually pop off, and then you could adjust it to approximately the size of your belt. That's pretty cool, I thought, you know. Let me see if I can do this without hurting my finger. <laughs> So yeah, it's a nice little configuration. You could have it for scout carry or, you know, belt carry, depending on, you know, how low or high you want it. Um, I personally would rather see like a nylon loop myself, but that's just personal opinion. But all in all, a very, very nice, um, a nice configuration. It does come with something, a ferro rod, you know. I think that's nice. I'm going to test it out once I get back out there. Because I want to test out the spine on this thing, but at least they get you know they give you something in this little package, and uh, you know this package is uh, thirty not I forgot what it was it was like thirty five ninety nine or thirty nine ninety nine I'm not sure, but I'll leave the links in the description in the comment sections below. But I, all in all, a really nice, really nice setup, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it's uh, a knife that's not too big and not too small. You know, if you're on a budget, the price seems to be right with, I say, pretty decent materials. I mean, you know, I don't think you can go wrong with 440C uh, steel. Um, it's not it's not the greatest of steels, but at one point, this used to be the end-all, be-all of steels, you know? And I think it'll just work just fine. I mean, the knife configuration is, is really sweet, you know? And uh, I'm going to be making a couple of shorts. I'm uh, going to do some some safe whittling and maybe start a little uh, little uh, fatwood fire, you know. Um, but I got to be careful for this thing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, this is this is a, um, you know, great little a great little knife, man, I think. Um, and I can't wait. I can't wait to get out there and use it. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So if you guys. Uh, you, know, you have any questions let me know and i appreciate that you guys have uh, taken the time to uh you know to hop on and take a look at this video okay hopefully i gave you a little bit more information here's that nice fat wood i'm going to be using you know for those little snippets of the uh shorts that i want to do um just a just a just a beautiful knife so i can't wait i love how thick that is it's nice and stout it's small you know, it's not it's not too heavy. The only thing, like I said, I think Ned Foss maybe should relook at the at the edges over here. They are very sharp, kind of well, not sharp, but more of a ninety degree type thing. You know. So, real quick, I just wanted to let people know. Um, I spoke with uh, Rich at uh, at uh, True Budget and EDC. And um, we're going to get together, and I want to discuss, you know, first aid, 
you know, as a, as not only a content creator, but as a subscriber, if you guys go out there, you know, and something like this does happen, you know, how, how, how you can prepare yourself, um, you know, to help you help yourself out when you're out there by yourself. Like, cause I was out there and luckily I did have a first aid, but they were basically band-aids and, um, I had no gauze. Hey, six Semper, how you doing, man? I didn't have any gauze. I have, I had a first aid kit at, at my car. And I was like maybe a good hundred yards away from my car going through the path in the woods. So I couldn't just go bleeding 150 yards. I had to man up and, you know, self-administer some kind of aid because I did, I did cut myself really good. Luckily, superficial, no nerve damage, but superficial, but it was a jagged cut, man. And it happened so fast. And it just, you know, I just realized that it can, ha if it can happen to me, it can happen to anybody, you know, even while you're filming. And it did happen to me when I was filming. And luckily I had a clean t-shirt. I had a clean, a, um, towel in my backpack. I also had, uh, at least eight or nine different type of band-aids in different sizes. So, um, at least I got that stuff on, but you know, hey, EDC for fun, how you doing? Yeah, some field triage, yes. Yeah. So me at Rich at the True Budget and EDC over, uh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna get together, you know. And uh, he's an expert at this stuff, you know. He's going he's going in the, in the medical area, and hey, no worries, no worries, EDC for fun. You know, you know when you play, you gotta pay, and unfortunately. This taught me, you know, a lesson that I have to be more careful. I mean, I'm usually very deliberate, but I got caught off guard, man, you know, and it, unfortunately it happens. But the good news is, is I, I did have first aid. I was able to administer it myself. So, you know, I digress, man. Yeah, Rich is the man. Um, I usually have a bandana around for the same reason. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, first aid is def definitely important, especially now that it happened to me. So I, I want to bring, you know, I want to do my first live with somebody. I don't care if I do it or if Rich does it. You know, I, I suggested that I do it for now. I'll host it and I would love, I'm going to have Rich on and, you know, I'm talking about basics guys. You know what I mean? Because I had the real basics, like skeletonized basics, you know, some band-aids and then I didn't have any gauze. This is, this, this stuff is gold in my opinion, man, the gauze. So Again, I digress. So after I cut myself, I wrapped my finger up in in band aids, and it was bleeding like a sieve um, because I do take blood thinners. And uh, then I wrapped it up in a t shirt, which I used a knife to cut the sleeve of the t shirt, and I wrapped it up. Then I had wax string, and I used a knife to cut up the wax string to hold everything in place. So you know, stupid me, I finished up the video anyway, you know. But then I, you know, I said said to myself, let me get back to my vehicle and administer some first aid because I have one of those medical bags that I had purchased and they had gauze in there, tape, um, and all, all kinds of other stuff. So when I got to the car, after I packed everything up and I, again, I was taking things slow, um, I got to the car and then I opened up the, the, the wound, I'm sorry, the uh, administered first aid with the t-shirt uh, and the band-aids and man, I took a real good look at my finger and I was like, oh, oh boy, that's bad. So, you know, I'm, now I'm feeling a little bit squeamish, but I had to get past that, you know, and, and, and make sure that I administered proper aid. So thank God I had this gauze, you know, and I just wrapped the gauze around my finger, um, tight, you know, and I didn't, at that point I really wasn't, I didn't know what I was doing. You know, so this is this is why I think it's it's a good idea that uh, maybe we do a Legion Live with Rich and um, and uh, you know maybe we give just some very very basics of what to take with you, you know, as a content creator or as a bushcrafter or a hiker. Maybe some of you know, but like me, I didn't know. You know, I really didn't know. Now I've learned my lesson. I'm definitely taking gauze with me, and you know. Um, uh, Bassett Tracin and some ointments with me in case something like this uh, ever happens again. You know what I'm saying? And um, I just want Rich to come on and, you know, give us his take 
you know, and some advice. And I think that would be uh, fantastic. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And um, I'm going to be speaking with Rich later on today. And we're going to set up a time and a date. And I hope that, uh, you know, whoever checks out this video, you know, shows up for just some information and some knowledge. All right, troops. So that's about it. You know, luckily I was able to uh, bandage myself um, at the vehicle, at my vehicle properly. I was a, it, it was a bigger, it was a bigger ball than this. I, I have to be quite honest, guys and guys, I didn't know what I was doing, but I did the best I can using some common sense, you know, um, it looked, I mean, every time I, I removed the bandages, it, it was just bleeding a lot, you know? <laughs> so I had to, I had to do it twice. I had to bandage myself twice at my vehicle, but the third time I bandaged up, you know, um, you know, I, I, I got it pretty good and I applied some pressure, but at this point I didn't know what I was doing. So, you know, I, I call up my wife and I'm like, you know, I, I cut myself and she was just not happy with me, just not happy with me at all. And, uh, well, there was nothing I could do other than to, you know, move forward. And I told her, let's, I'll pick you up from work and we'll head straight to the emergency room, which we did. And luckily the nurse, you know, said that I did a good job, a decent job of, of tending to my wound and uh, got stitches. And, uh, you know, this, this at the same time got me thinking, man, you know, this would be great to, to let the Legionnaires out there know, or anybody else know some of this information. So, you know, Rich is more of an expert than I am. He can give us some better advice, maybe give us advice on what we should take with us, you know, just to stuff in our backpacks for an emergency situation, for small cuts, a little bit bigger lacerations, maybe some stab wounds. I don't know. I, I, I just need to talk to, uh, to him about it. You know, us as knife content creators, if we're out there doing this stuff, well, obviously it's going to happen sooner or, sooner or later. Lesson learned, you know, and hopefully we can move on from there. It's fair to assume when the blade's out, there might be some bleeding. Yeah, listen. I bonded, we're all bonded by some form of blood. I'll tell you what, if we love knives, we're bleeding. Okay. <laughs> plain and simple, plain and simple. So yeah, hopefully I'm going to be talking to Rich, um, after three P after 3 PM today. And once we get firm, what we want to do and a date and a time, I will post it up. Rich will post it up again. I don't care who hosts it. If you know, Rich decides he wants to host it. Um, or I want, you know, he, he wants me to host it. It's, it's fine by me. All right, troops, legionnaires, and new recruits. I don't want to waste anybody's uh, time anymore. But, uh, you know, thanks for taking some time uh, to check out my channel. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this look at this uh, Ned Foss hyenas. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, let me know what uh, you guys are carrying today. I don't, I don't care what it is. And if you got a first aid kit, let me know too. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be cool. That would be cool to know. All right. Um, let me bring awareness to everybody. Hashtag 22 a day. Hashtag 22 a day no more. There are veterans and active military that once they get out of the service, they do face a lot of challenges. And unfortunately, one of these challenges is suicide. So at the uh, comment section and description section, I will make sure I put phone numbers and links to websites and a heartfelt message from a Vietnam veteran, Martin Miller. Okay. Martin Miller has been there. He has done that. And he has sought the help that he has earned and deserved. And you guys have earned that too. All right, troops, legionnaires, and new recruits. Again, I appreciate you guys taking the time. Let's take one last look at this bad boy. I love this knife. It's a nice little small knife uh, for the price. It's under $40. I mean, for the price, I think it's fantastic. And uh, you, know, you guys and gals, wish me, wish me luck and healing quick. And, uh, you know... I want to get out there and test this bad boy out, all right? All right, troops. Thanks again. At the ready, hold the line. Take care, guys.